Hi friends, thanks so much for practicing with me today. I'm on my deck because it's a beautiful day outside and I highly recommend you taking your practice outside today if it's pretty where you are too. As far as our practice goes today, it's gonna be sort of a sneak peek into what my personal practice is like. Um, for example, I don't have a physical theme of back bends or twists or anything like that. Instead, I have a theme of finding joy in the movement finding joy in being able to move, finding gratitude and having the health to move, that sort of thing. So it will be very lighthearted and very playful. Um, don't do anything that hurts, but maybe try some new things. Uh, that's it. So play some music if you want to, grab some water and meet me on the mat. We're gonna start our outdoor yoga playtime today by sitting in a cross-legged pose finding the sitting bones so that you can sit up tall, shoulders back, and then palms up to help us have that alignment. Let's relax the face, relax the neck and the throat, close your eyes if you'd like to. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Let's do that a few times. Just catching our breath, matching the length of the inhale to the length of the exhale and breathing in in a way where we're filling the lungs from bottom to top. So just having a little buffer, a little separation from the day that you've had. A chance to check in with you, how you're feeling, how you're doing. And if you're outdoors like me, maybe pausing to listen to all the sounds going on. So as an intention today, we're going to keep it very lighthearted and very simple. Everything on the mat today is going to be lighthearted, just moving with breath and moving with joy. And that's our intention, embracing the joy of moving grateful for the help that we have that lets us do this. Let's bring hands to prayer pose. Again, embracing the joy of moving. And just gently open the eyes. Good. So with eyes open now, on an inhale, lifting up through the arms. Exhale, pull down through the shoulder blades. Match it to your breath. Your inhale matches your exhale. So we want our motions to match as well. Moving with our breath. We want it to feel really nice. Think of making it active. Pull down. Feel the work in the shoulder blades and the upper back. Warming that area and letting go of tension in that area. Noticing how nice it feels to start moving. Let's think of taking up space when we reach up. Pulling down actively on the exhale. One more time, the joy of being able to move. Relax the hands down, sit up tall again, and then touch the shoulder tops, making some big but gentle circles for your shoulder joints. And then reversing the direction, keeping your breath steady. Let's relax the arms, do the same thing for the wrists, give them a few circles one way. We're just prepping our joints for weight bearing work so that they feel ready for it. And then go the other way. Good. Let's relax hands to the knees. On an inhale, let's come into seated cow. So let's lift the heart, have a little back extension. And then on the exhale, seated cat rounding. Inhale, lift back up to seated cow. Exhaling, seated cat. Just begin to move in and out of these at your own pace, matching the inhale to the exhale. And we wanna make sure this feels nice. The joy of moving. Well, everything we do on the mat today to bring us some sort of benefit, nourishing the body in one way or another. Let's have one more of cat and cow. And then just coming to neutral, exhale, resting. 
Good. Let's come to all fours. When we get to our all fours pose, we want to fan the fingers out wide, plant the hands, lift up through the shoulders, keep the shoulders active. On an inhale, let's lift the right arm, just gently twisting, reaching up. Exhale, easing it down. Inhale, lift the left arm, rotating open. Exhale, easing it down. Let's start to go with our breath. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering. So we're getting a gentle twist in the spine, but there's a couple other things we want to be mindful of as well. Uh, for example, the weight-bearing shoulder, we want to keep it really active, not sinking into it, not propping up with it, but lifting out of it. It's always active. We keep it active and supported to bring strength to the shoulder, not strain. Then we want to keep the hips level. Try not to let the hips tilt or shift, just warming up the body. Let's do one more per side. This is great for getting warm. Hopefully by now you're feeling the arms starting to work, shoulders, core. Exhale. Take it back to extended child. So that means walk the hands out, reach to the sides of the body, reach to the arms. On the next inhale, let's flow into kneeling plank. Stabilize those shoulders like we just did in the other pose. Pull the core in. If you'd like to, you can have a little tricep push-up. We'll shift forward, ease down, press right back up. Let's take it to plank, press through the heels. On an exhale, downward dog. Bend the knees, aim the tailbone up. Let's do that again. On the next inhale, come back into kneeling plank. Exhale, tricep push-up. Full plank, press through the heels. Downward facing dog. And again, sort of bending the knees right now until we get warm at the hamstrings. Let's do that again. Inhale, come into kneeling plank. Exhale, tricep push-up. Full plank, press through the heels. Downward facing dog. Let's do it one more time if you want to. Everything's optional. Have that little push-up to plank pose, to downward facing dog. Now bend those knees, aim the tailbone up, plant the hands, and pull the shoulder blades away from the head and the neck. Let's bend one knee, press the opposite heel down, gently switch, pedaling it out, so to speak, getting some length in the back of the legs and some gentle movement in the feet and the ankles. Good. Let's start to warm up even more. On an inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step it through, lunge. If we want to, coming up for a crescent lunge pressing through the back heel. Exhale, let's ease down. Let's return to three-legged dog. Lift that left leg up in the air. We'll flow with this. Exhale, step it through crescent lunge again. On the inhale, we rise up. On the exhale, we flow down. Inhale, lift the left leg up in the air. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift the left leg just one more time. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, down to the mat. Let's inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale to downward dog, pedal it out. Same thing, other side. Inhale, lift the right leg up in the air. Feel the glutes working. Exhale, squeeze your core, step it all the way through. On an inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, ease down. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift that right leg. Exhale, step it through, core work. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, ease it down. Inhale, lift the right leg. Feel the shoulders working too. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, we ease down. One more time. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, use those core muscles. Inhale, easing up, exhaling, down. On the inhale, lift that right leg, exhale, downward dog, pedal it out, and then step to forward fold. Relax your spine, head and neck. Bend the knees as much as you need to. On the next inhale, let's swan dive up. Reach, exhale, rest. Good. Have a deep breath, coming back to your breath. That full inhalation, 
that full exhalation, matching the inhale to the exhale. Good. Let's relax our hands to the thighs. And on an inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, stretch through the side of the body. Getting a gentle, gentle stretch. Uh, we're active in the core so that we support our spine in this little bit of lateral flexion. We want this to feel great. On an inhale, reach up both arms. Exhale, go the other way. Now we're stretching through the right side. Deep breathing. Core active. On the inhale, let's reach up. Exhale, prayer pose. Good. Pause for a breath. Just noticing how you're doing, how you're feeling. Coming back to that intention of the joy of being able to move. Moving in a way that feels good for the body today. Moving in a way that brings nourishment, not strain. Good. And we'll go into a couple rounds of sun salutations where I'll give you a couple different options for the, the actual vinyasa in the middle and pick what you feel like today. Every day is different. On an inhale, let's reach the arms up. On an exhale, take a swan dive down. Hinge from your hips. On the inhale, bend the knees, lift the spine halfway up. Exhale, relax, forward fold. Let's step the right leg back. So we can choose our lunge here. We can go down to the knee. We can stay here, or we can even bring the arms up into a crescent lunge again. On an exhale, ease down, and let's step to downward facing dog. On an inhale, let's flow forward into a plank or a kneeling plank, you pick. Exhale, lower down to the mat, and we can have unsupported cobra for this first round, kind of building up to upward facing dog. So we're using the back and shoulder muscles to be here, not the hands. Let's hug the elbows to the ribs, press up, take it back to downward dog. Option to lift that right leg up in the air, step it all the way through. That's familiar. <laughs> On an inhale, reaching back up perhaps, exhaling down, stepping to forward fold. Inhale, let's rise up, reach up, take up space, finish in a chair squat, send the hips down and back. Inhale, lift the arms, exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, come halfway up, exhale, relax. We'll step the left leg back this time. Again, choose your lunge. If we want to inhale, rise up, we can, or we can stay low. Exhale, let's ease down, meet in downward dog. On the inhale, flow forward. Again, choose whether you want full plank or kneeling plank. And let's shift and ease down to the mat. Inhale, unsupported cobra, working on back strength, pressing up, meeting in downward dog. Option to lift the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. On the inhale, rising up for that crescent lunge. Exhale, easing down, stepping to forward fold. On the inhale, let's swan dive up, bend the knees, hinge up, reach up. Finish in a chair squat, hips go down and back, spine stays tall, no rounding. Inhale, let's reach up, maybe even look up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, back to monkey pose, flatten the back. Exhale, forward fold. Let's step the right leg back. Inhale, choose your lunge. Exhale, ease down and step to downward dog. On the inhale, let's flow forward. If you're practicing upward facing dog, we'll shift down, chaturanga, flip the feet, press up. Nothing else really touches the mat here. Let's tuck the toes and make it back to downward dog. Option to inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge, press through the back heel. Exhale, ease down, step to forward fold. On the inhale, let's come all the way up, reach up, finish in a chair pose. Good, let's do the left side. Inhale, rise, hinge from your hips all the way down. Inhale, bend the knees, monkey pose, flatten the back, work on posture. Exhale, forward fold, relax. Let's step the left leg back, press through the heel. Maybe we bring it up again to crescent lunge. Exhale, ease it down, step to downward dog. Stabilize the shoulders and then flow into plank or kneeling plank. If we're having upward dog, we shift lower down, flip the feet, press up immediately. We're active to support the spine here. Let's tuck the toes, meet in downward dog. On the inhale, option to lift the left leg. Exhale, step it through. 
We found crescent lunge again. Exhale, swim it down. Step to forward fold. On an inhale, rising all the way up. Finish in a chair squat. Spine is tall and supported. Inhale, let's rise. Exhale, let's rest. Have a deep breath. Coming back to your breath. Matching the inhale to the exhale. And checking in with how you're feeling. Coming back to that intention. You wanna make sure everything is joyful in this practice today. So dialing back when you need to, or dialing forward when you need to. Next, we're gonna step out wide into a wide-legged squat. So step out wide first, toes out, heels in. Grip the mat, brace your core. On an inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull down through the shoulder blades again. Send the hips down and back. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pull down. So we're sending the hips down and back. Squeezing the outer thighs as we do this, which gives support to the knees. Helps stabilize them. So squeeze your outer thighs. That'll help you keep your knees in line with your toes. That's what we're going for. So pull down, squat down. Let's do it two more times and we'll change it up a little bit. Remember, we're moving in a way that feels good today. So alter away if you need to. On an inhale, bring it all the way up. Exhale, sun pose. That means palms up, arms active. Coming down to our best little wide-legged squat here. If we'd like to, we can even lift the heels. Tuning into your breath. On an exhale, release the heels, reach up. Exhale, take a swan dive down. So we can lengthen one leg and sort of shift the opposite way, lengthening the inner thigh. And then maybe going back the other way. And then alternating. We just flow with the breath. Gently stretching the inner thighs. I want this to feel nice. Good, so coming back to neutral, bend the knees deeply, hands to the thighs, inhale, start to hinge up, then swan dive up, finish in prayer pose, walk the feet back together, and meet me at the front of your mat. So standing in our mountain pose, rooted down at the feet, tall through the spine, coming back to our breath. Let's have a deep breath in. Exhale, release it. On the next inhale, let's reach the arms up. We'll start moving again. Exhale, swan diving down. Bend the knees, let's come up to monkey again, but this time let's take it to airplane, which means we're gonna add the arms in. So we're pulling shoulder blades together, activating the back muscles, Pulling in the core, reaching through the fingertips, working the triceps. On an exhale, release down to forward fold. Step your right leg back. Inhale, come back up into that crescent lunge. If you'd like to add in a twist, we'll exhale, bring the right arm diagonally across to the left knee and just swim that left arm back gently. We're pressing through the back heel. On an inhale, rising up, crescent lunge, and exhale, float it back down. Let's step to three-legged dog. Lift the left leg up in the air. This is playtime, so optional. If you'd like to have that vinyasa again, we'll shift into plank. Maybe we keep the leg lifted. Exhale, chaturanga. Now lower the feet. Press to upward dog. And then meet me in downward dog. Let's inhale, lift the right leg up in the air. Bend at the knee. Open the hip toward the right side, stretching through that right hip. We're trying to keep the shoulders level, trying not to let the shoulders get involved, but just open at the hip. On an exhale, level the hips back out, step all the way through. Inhale, rise into your crescent lunge. Exhale, ease it down. We'll step to forward fold. We'll return to airplane, reach back behind you. Have a breath. On an inhale, rise all the way up. 
Come back to your chair pose. So this clearly echoes a sun salutation. We're just jazzing it up, making it a little more exciting. Maybe we come up to the toes for a balancing chair. We're keeping the core engaged. We're keeping the center of gravity at the hips, protecting the knees. On an exhale, lower the heels. On an inhale, reach all the way up. Let's do it again, other side. Exhale, swan dive down. Bend the knees, lift to monkey. Add the arms in for airplane. We'll have a breath or two here, keeping the core pulled in, keeping the back flat. On an exhale, release to forward fold. Step your left leg back. On an inhale, crescent lunge, reaching up. Now, exhale, diagonally guide the left arm across the body. Open up into your twist, other way. Right arm reaching back. Lifting that back knee just a little bit to give you a little stability. On an inhale, coming back to crescent lunge. Exhaling down to downward dog. Let's lift the right leg up in the air, three-legged dog. Stabilize the shoulders. And of course, you can just go to downward dog if you'd rather and rest. Let's shift into plank. Chaturanga. Flip the feet. Upward dog. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Downward dog. Option to lift the left leg up. Bend at the knee. Open the hips toward the left side. Stabilizing the shoulders. Lengthening the back. Stretching that left hip. Let's level the hips back out. Step it all the way through. Inhale, come up into your crescent lunge. Press through your right heel. Exhale, ease down. Step to forward fold. On an inhale, swan dive up. Reach, reach, reach. Come down into your chair pose. And perhaps, if you'd like to, coming up to that balancing chair pose. Up to you. We focus, we breathe. On an exhale, release the heels. On an inhale, rising up. Exhaling, resting. Prayer pose, have a deep breath in. Exhale, release it. On the inhale, lifting the arms to the sky. We'll come back to that airplane pose, hinging from hips, reaching the arms back behind us, pulling in the core, balancing. That's what we're about to do at least. <laughs> Let's shift to the right foot, peel the left heel up. Maybe we lift that heel toward the glute and then reach back into warrior three. We bring it right back down to that hip width stance. We shift to the left foot. Peel the right heel up, bring the heel toward the glute, reach it back, warrior three. Bring it down, we're gonna flow with this a few times. Shift to the right, peel the left heel up, extend the left leg back, and then bring it down to the hip width stance. Shift to the left foot, peel the right heel up, extend it back. Bring it down. Let's do it one more time. It's so fun. We'll shift to the right foot. Reach that left leg back. Bring it down. Hip width stance. Shift to the left foot. Triceps are working hard, right? Feel all the work in your arms and back muscles right now, too. Bring down to hip width. Exhale. Rest. Woo. Cross your arms. Bend your knees. Just rock side to side a couple times. On an exhale, release hands to the mat. Let's step to plank. In our plank pose, we need to evaluate where we're at with planks, how our shoulders are, the overall health of our shoulders. If we're up to it, we can add in some side planks here. If we'd rather we can hold a full plank, kneeling plank, or even go and rest in your child's pose. If you'd like to add in some side planks, Let's roll to the right, supporting that right shoulder, maybe lifting the left arm up in the air. We can hold this if it feels better, or we're gonna flow with it as an option too. Float that left arm down, shift to the left, reach the right arm up. Again, hold, flow, or don't do it at all, go to child's, whatever you want. Let's come back to plank. Let's lift the left arm, supporting the right shoulder. Bring it down. Let's shift to the left, lifting up through the right. 
bring it down. Let's do it all one more time. We're aware, super aware of the shoulder. We don't want to bring it pain, stress, or injury, so we're keeping it supported. Let's ease to plank. Hold it for a breath. You can do it. Let's go down to the knees, back to our extended child's pose, having a little break. So checking in with how you're feeling and how you're doing. Resting. On the next inhale, let's lift back up to downward facing dog. Option to lift your left leg up in the air and then step it all the way through. On an inhale, rising up, crescent lunge, pressing through that right heel, pulling in your core. Option to add in a tricep stretch today. We'll bring the right, we'll bend at the right elbow and then just gently place the left hand on the right elbow, kind of helping to aim it up, but not stressing the shoulder. We keep pressing through the right heel, keeping our left knee bent. On an inhale, let's reach all the way back up. Exhale, let's float that right heel to the floor. Let's come into warrior two pose. So we're bending that front knee, reaching through the arms, pressing through both feet, and we're trying to square our hips to the long side of our mat. So we're hugging the right hip back to help out with that. On an inhale, let's revolve the left palm up, reach up, reverse warrior. On an exhale, let's come back to warrior two, bend the left elbow, come into side angle. Flowing with it, inhale, reverse warrior, maybe even looking up. Exhale, side angle maybe even looking up one more time reach 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 side angle pose feel those obliques working option to reach over the ear and even bring the left hand down to the floor or a block for extended angle trying to revolve the torso up toward the sky on an exhale let's windmill that right arm down come into a lunge so we lift the right heel Let's plant the right hand. We're gonna twist the other way. Inhale, lift the left arm, twisting lunge. Now, wouldn't this be fun if we did a little flow with this? <laughs> Let's float that left arm down, but we've gotta put it at the inside of the shin. Inhale, plant the heel, open back up, extended angle. Good, windmill it down, come into lunge, plant the right hand, inhale, twisting lunge. Let's float it down. Let's shift a tripod. Lift that right leg up in the air. Your left leg is working so hard. We're about to give it a break. Tripod, we're just lengthening both legs, pulling in the core. Have one more breath. Feel the glutes working. You're doing great. And then step it back to lunge. Look ahead. Exhale, bring the knee down to the mat. On an inhale, rise, kneeling lunge. Let's catch our breath. Let's have a stretch. In our kneeling lunge, option to add in a chest stretch today. Kind of swim the arms back, interlace, or just keep reaching for one another. We're just opening the front of the body. Find a place that's comfortable. Remember our intention today, finding joy in your movement. Now we can always sort of shift our hips forward a little bit to get a deeper stretch for that right hip but not if it is causing you to have strain at your lumbar. That's the big thing to think about in your kneeling lunge. Aim your tailbone down, and then you're free to do that, but again, you're always checking in with your lumbar that there's no pain. On the exhale, release, release, release. Go to your child's pose. We'll have a little breath before we do the other side. Deep breath in, deep breath out. So we'll tuck the toes, plant the palms, lift to downward facing dog. Good job. So have a breath. Option to lift your right leg up in the air. Step it all the way through. On an inhale, we rise up for a crescent lunge. We're pressing through the left heel and we're lifting the left knee just to give a little bit more stability as we come down to our best crescent lunge, maybe bending at the elbow to stretch that left tricep. Work the triceps a lot today. We've had chaturanga, we've had 
tricep push-ups we've had airplane so just giving your triceps a little love keep pressing through your back heel aware of your lumbar spine there's no strain on an inhale reach the arms up exhale spiral the left heel down come into warrior two again aware of the hips we want to square them to the long side of the mat we're reaching out we're bending that front knee and just like with those wide-legged squats earlier let's squeeze the outer thigh right leg to aim your knee forward let's revolve the right palm up inhale reverse warrior maybe looking up exhale bending the right elbow side angle maybe looking up inhale lift reverse warrior exhale come back to side angle let's do it one more time inhale lifting exhale to side angle will hold shoulders let's bring them down reaching up and then maybe even over if we'd like to we can come down to extended angle and if we're in extended angle we're pressing forearm and shin against each other to help us we're revolving the torso up challenging pose so don't do anything that hurts take it easy deep breath in let's windmill down come into a lunge that means lift the heel again plant the left palm inhale lift the right arm twisting lunge good let's bring it down we got to put the right hand at the instep of the right foot plant the heel open back up extended angle windmill it down plant the palm lunge inhale twisting lunge lift the right arm exhale ease it down now here's the hard part let's go to tripod from here lift off lift that left leg up in the air press through both heels square your hips deep breath in let's step all the way back to our lunge come down to the knee on an inhale kneeling lunge aim the tailbone down and then choose where you want to take the lunge so again it's really important to stay in tune with your lumbar spine here there's no pain maybe we reach the arms back again maybe we interlace all options and modifications choose what fits you best find joy in your pose not pain gratitude for what you can do on the next exhale let's release the arms ease down come back to child's pose let's have one deep breath resting and then tucking the toes lifting to downward dog our last little strength and balance flow before we start to rest so option one more time to lift your left leg up in the air step it through use your core strength into a lunge maybe we rise up into a crescent lunge then we're going to flow into eagle pose today which is going to be a challenging transition but have full faith that you can find joy in trying it so let's lift the right leg up in the air hands in prayer pose cross the right leg over the left and ease down to your eagle pose if you'd like to add in the arms left arm is up first right arm winds underneath it center of gravity is at the hips we're looking past the wrist so that you can find balance shoulder blades pull down the back let's bring hands to prayer Let's see if we can step back to that lunge. Good job. Ease it down. Step two. Three-legged dog. Lift that left leg up in the air. Last time to downward dog. Other side. Let's inhale. Lift the right leg up. Exhale. Step it through. Inhale. Come up into a crescent lunge. Gaze at something in front of you that's not moving. You can bring hands to prayer and lift off let's lift the left leg up cross it sink down into your eagle pose spine is tall try not to round center of gravity at the hips if we'd like to add in the arms right arm up first left arm underneath lifting the elbows gently 
Focus on your breath. Release the arms first to prayer. Step back to your lunge. Ease down and inhale, lift the right leg up, three-legged dog. Come down to downward dog, have a breath. Exhale, come into your plank pose. We're just gonna lie down. So you can lower down one more time or just wiggle down however you wanna get there. Just do it safely. Once we're down, let's pause for a breath. Catch your breath. And of course, you're welcome to just stay here and rest at this point. <laughs> if you'd like to add in locust pose today to work on some strengthening in the back, good for your posture, then we'll pull in the core first. And we'll lift our arms reaching behind us, lift the legs. Free to stay right here and just breathe with it. If you'd like to add in a little more upper back work, we'll inhale, reach out in front of us. Exhale, pull the shoulder blades down the back like we've done in a couple variations already today. Inhale, reach, take up space. Exhale, pull down. Let's do it three more times. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Move with your breath. Feel all that back work going on. Exhale. Come down and rest. We can stack our palms and rest one cheek. Have a breath or two. And then turn the other cheek. So again, feel free to just rest here if you'd like to. If you'd like a little bit deeper back extension, we're gonna have a couple options today. First with Sphinx Pose, bringing elbows under the shoulders. So we wanna plant the palms and the forearms here. We wanna pull the core in, keep the core active. And then we wanna think about, like anything else we do, our posture. So pulling the shoulder blades down the back, reaching the heart forward. Let's look ahead of us, but maybe tuck the chin a little. I would say look in front of you on the floor a few feet in front of you. You don't want to strain at the neck by reaching up. So give your, your, uh, your chin just a little tuck and make sure that this feels nice. It wants to be a gentle back bend. Palms stay planted, forearms stay planted, core stays tight. Deep breathing. And on an exhale, easing all the way down. Let's put our left forearm parallel to the short side of your mat. If you can, reach your right hand back for your ankle. So we're having a nice little stretch in the hip flexor and quad area. And stay right here if you want to. If you're not able to reach it, that's okay. Just keep, keep trying, keep trying. That's still the, the same activation. You're just not quite uh, making contact and that's totally okay. If you have a yoga strap, you can use that too. And now if you want to take this back extension a little further, we'll press the hand into the ankle and the ankle into the hand and we'll rise up. So I'm not using my left arm to help me out at all. It's just there so I don't roll over awkwardly. <laughs> so you're having this back extension, you're pressing hand into ankle, ankle into hand, half bow pose. One more breath and then ease down, place your right hand parallel to the short side of your mat reach your left arm back again not something to force if you have a strap you can use that or you can just keep reaching keep trying and working on that uh, that action um, shoulders stay down the back try not to let your shoulders shrug and then if we want to go into the back extension press hand into ankle ankle into hand again let's look at the floor a few feet in front of us and we're not using this right hand it's just there to help us have a little stability so try not to shrug, keep your shoulder blades down. On an exhale, ease down to the mat. Have a breath. And then let's place hands by our sides, pressing up to all fours. For one more back extension today, if you feel like doing it. If right about now your back feels like, nah, I'm good, then don't do it. 
but if it feels like if you think it would feel nice then we're going to have camel pose and there's no pressure to take it into the full pose we can have many variations of camel pose so for starters let's come to the knees we can tuck toes or we can leave feet flat personal preference whatever makes you feel more stable we want to engage the glutes the core we're going to open the heart and chest area placing fists at the bottom of the spine it's at the sacrum the flat part good so let's start by just lifting the heart opening like we do in seated cow one of the first poses we did today let's not strain at the neck and let's keep everything active we don't want any pain so when we're talking about our spine we never want to force anything on it or have pain think of lifting through your heart and keeping your lower back neutral your lower back we're not involving it in this back extension good let's ease up have a breath you know, wiggle your arms a little bit wiggle your arms we're going to have one more chance to do it so if that felt great do it again um, if not go into child's and rest so again squeeze the glutes squeeze the core let's think about resting hands at the sacrum let's think about keeping the low back totally neutral totally neutral it's not going to get involved with this back bend let's pull shoulder blades down and back let's reach up through the heart and if camel's in your practice, you've been doing it for a while, feel free to place your hands on your heels. Totally up to you. We don't want pain anywhere. We need to be able to breathe. So don't take this pose so far that you can't breathe. Let's ease back up. Let's have a breath. Untuck your feet if they're tucked. And let's rest. Let's come down to child's pose. Find a nice, relaxing place for your child's pose. Resting. We want to rest the back muscles and let the spine round. We want to rest the face. Close the eyes. On our inhales, we feel our rib cage expand. On our exhales, we let our spine and our back muscles relax a little bit more. So on the next inhale, let's start to ease back up. Good, let's come down to a seated pose on the hips, finding those sitting bones and then bringing into a straddle split. Seated tall, let's inhale, lengthen the spine exhale hinge from your hips so we're trying not to round in the spine we're trying to hinge from the hips uh, we're getting inner thigh stretch here hamstrings and hopefully a nice lengthening at the low back too so don't take this too far again just like with the spine we don't want to stress the hamstrings either we want to be gentle to them so no pose that we do on the mat we don't want any of them to cause injury or strain. Let's have one more breath here. On an inhale, rise back up. Let's bring the right foot to the left inner thigh. Let's turn the torso to the extended leg, our left leg. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hinge, stretching the hamstring a little bit more, getting the low back a nice stretch as well keeping the spine long and tall. Let's relax the face. We're just letting hands go where they fall naturally. On an inhale, hinge back up. Now let's turn to face the bent knee, the right leg. We'll relax the left arm down. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Reach over your side, getting a side stretch. On an inhale, reach up. Exhale, relax. Let's switch legs. Let's first turn toward our right leg, the extended one. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge from the hips. So again, just finding a place that feels really nice on the low back 
and the hamstring, keeping the spine tall or keeping the spine long. And then hands just go wherever is comfortable. Let's come back to our steady breath, matching our inhale to our exhale. On an inhale, let's rise back up, turn toward our left leg, relax the right arm down, inhale, reach the left arm up and over, stretching through the side of the body, relaxing your face, making sure this feels good on your body. Again, no pain, no strain, finding joy in the pose. On an inhale, rise back up. Exhale, rest. So last thing we'll do seated like this. Let's bring the left leg out long. Let's cross the right leg over it. Let's put the right palm behind us and reach the left arm forward. Have a big inhale. And as you exhale, twist toward the knee, hug it to your chest and have a really nice twist here. So we want to keep the spine tall the whole time in a twist. And just like with our back bend, we want to make sure that we're able to breathe without having to fight for it. Steady breathing. Inhale, let's lengthen and exhale. Let's release the twist, switch the legs. So this time, right leg long, left leg crosses over and the left palm right behind us, sturdy shoulder. Inhale, reach forward and exhale, turn toward your knee, hug it to your chest. If we do that, we feel a nice stretch deep in the left hip. And of course the twist, keep it gentle. Relax your face. We want this to feel good. Find the joy in this. On an inhale, find length in the spine and exhale, release your twist. Let's hold the back of that leg and let's ease down to the mat, hugging knees to chest, flattening the back, maybe rocking side to side if that feels nice on your back. And then hands on the kneecaps. Let's guide the kneecaps around in small circles. One way for the low back. Hopefully this feels really great on the low back. And then let's reverse the direction, going the opposite way. Good. Let's open the knees out in opposite directions guiding them around in big circles to meet in the middle. Gentle hip mobility work for you. And then reverse the direction of that as well. Good. Let's float the feet down to the mat. Arms just resting by your sides. Let's cross the left leg over the right. Flex that left ankle. And if you'd like a little more stretch here for that left hip and glute area, then hug your right knee to your chest, holding gently at the right hamstring. Letting our breath slow down. Letting our breath head back to a normal pace. Let's release that right leg and uncross the left. And then cross your right ankle over your left knee. Flex the ankle. And then hug your left leg to your chest if you'd like a little bit more. Relaxing your face, maybe closing your eyes. Mm -hmm. 
On an exhale, releasing the leg and uncrossing. So we'll come to our relaxation pose, palms up, shoulders tucked underneath you. And we can keep our knees up and leaning on each other, or we can extend our legs long on the mat. We'll take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, close the eyes. And then just letting your breath be normal. We want to give ourselves a little mental scan and just notice if there's anywhere in the body still holding on to tension. And if we identify a place that's still holding tension, can we relax? We want to let our entire body just relax and sink into the mat. Letting our legs relax. Letting our hips relax and sink into the mat. Letting our abdomen soften. Letting our shoulders sink into the mat. Let's make sure we're relaxing the arms all the way down to the fingertips. And let's make sure we're relaxing at the neck and the throat. Let's relax the jaw and the face. Including the forehead and the outer corners of the eyes. We give ourselves the gift of a little peace and quiet. Enjoying moving and now enjoying stillness. Let's take a deep but gentle breath in. Exhale completely. And start to wiggle our fingers and our toes. Noticing our breath, noticing the rise and fall of it. Noticing any sounds we hear. 
Noticing how our body feels after moving and breathing. Let's gently hug our knees to our chest. Have a deep breath in, maybe rocking side to side again if that feels nice. And releasing our feet to the mat, and rolling to our side. We can cradle our head with our bottom arm. Have a deep breath in here on our side. And then start to press yourself up gently to an easy seated pose, whatever is comfortable for you. We'll inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale to prayer pose, maybe closing the eyes. And coming back to that theme we had of being lighthearted and joyful. That's not a bad one to let spill out into the rest of your life. So maybe taking that attitude of playfulness with you the rest of your day, finding joy in moving and breathing, finding joy in the little things. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. And the light and life in me honors the light and life in you. Namaste.